Welcome to Toots and Tunes. Today, we're working on stuff. again it's winter still again <laughs> but where are we going we're going to Kentucky we are going to Kentucky but not too far into Kentucky just enough to get your nose smoky yes so we found a guy there who has the rest of the manual swap stuff we need like uh, like the pedals, pedals. the uh, clutch, cable. clutch cable the drive shafts yeah. And the shifter boot stuff that we need uh, to finish that side, um, and he wants some auto stuff. So we're we're just trading. Even trade. Yeah, we got this this squeak when Ox loaded up with all the auto goodies, and uh, yeah, we're heading down to heading down to Kentucky, not too far, just uh, over by Lexington a little bit. Yeah, that way. Thanks. So not as crazy as the last trip we took, but no. Leave it a little later. Yeah, see, it's, see, there's the sun over there. It'll be the same sun when we come home. We're but we found it. We found the Buckies. See that? Better get the buck over there. Yeah, we're about to get some beaver nuggets. In get out the way, feet. people! I need some bucking gas. Hey, we're about ten minutes from our first stop, and we're listening to System of a Down. We're at home with the camels. Yeah. Brandon just loves his new metal so much. New metal. Yeah. So we're making a first stop here because we found a junkyard right on the way that has um, a Volvo power steering pump. So we're like, well, when cheap in... Cheap, too. Yeah, cheap. When in Kentucky, get a Volvo pump. And a toothbrush. Yeah, toothbrush. So, yeah, we're going to grab that pump and then be on our way to our next stop. To the swap meet. To the swap meet. All right. See us there. See us. We got the pump. We almost didn't. We had to get tools. We had to get tools that didn't exist. So we get in there and the guy says, oh yeah, I remember you guys. We drove all the way here. Uh, sorry, my parts picker guy's not here. We don't have any tools for you guys to use to remove this. At this business. At a junkyard, we don't have tools. We don't have tools, so sorry. Brandon's like, I'm not taking no for an answer. There's an 11 millimeter wrench right here. I found one sitting in front of my face. I said, this is all we need, sir. And he said, we'll have at it. We got out there and guess what? Not a single 11 on the vehicle. Nope. We needed a 10 and a 12. And a 13. And a 13. So we told old boy and guess what he found us? A whole socket set. Yeah. So we, uh, we got it. We got it off. The thing's mint. It's a good condition. But yeah, it just took a little longer and we almost left FD handed, but we didn't. We got harness. Yeah, we got harness too. So yeah, now we can keep going. Success. Welcome back guys. Here we are with the haul. All right. Successful trip. Hit, super successful. This guy was awesome. Uh, Danny was his Danny. name. Danny. He, he hooked us up. We got the drive shafts that we needed for the manual transmission. He threw in a cluster which is awesome because it's got the tack. We really needed that. That's not from him, but we got our Volvo pump. We've got the clutch and brake assembly with the shifter arm trim ring, Beauty ring. the clutch cable, and the center console for it, which is great because... Didn't we didn't have that. We didn't have that, and we and thought we were... And it color matches. It does. It color matches. So Brandon actually gets a cup holder now, which is great. He doesn't got to put an octopus on the floor. Mm -mm. So this is great. This My big jug doesn't have to hang on the window now. No. So he also told us something really cool about the mirrors. Pop them out from the inside. The bracket's already there. Pick up your mirrors off Amazon, Rock Auto, whatever. They snap right on. Yeah. No more low ride mirrors. No more low ride. So we can get the ones that, that you like that, look, that I think look better too. I agree. So, yeah, and they don't get floppy. No floppy mirrors. Yep. We did good. Uh, that was a great success. 
Really good. Nobody got hurt. Maybe at Bucky's. Maybe at Bucky's. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Update. Not one cup holder. Four cup holders. What? We found a secret compartment under the armrest. This thing's got... That's a cup holder. Three more cup holders. Yes. We went from zero cup holders to four. It's going to be a party wagon now. Party wagon with two seats. Each person double fists. Even the driver. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Maybe you didn't leave. It's 100% guys right now. It is. We looked. We You're looked. all men from 25 to 45. 45, yeah. It's not a bad demographic. It's okay. Let's go Brandon, right? Let's go Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> so we're working on I'm the truck. This, is, I'm this Brandon. is Brandon. Because I'm not political. I'm Brandon. Yep. <laughs> so this is the truck that you know about. And we got to try and get this real clean. We got all this dust. Oh, look at that. Ugh. Dust uh, so we're going to pressure wash. That's really the best way. And so that's what we're going to do. Let's do it. Let's do it. Now that we've got the engine bay clean, we can give the same restoration treatment to the front part of the frame that we did to the rest of it. Finishing up the second coat on this, and that'll take care of the whole frame being poor 15. There's some cracks we obviously can't get to, and we've got some spray. Some spray. It's a two-in-one rust reformer and top coat. Um, and it's a, it's kind of rubberized too when it's finished. Uh, it's this stuff. It's really good. It's good stuff. Basically, we do the same prep we do for the Pour 15, but we spray. And this will let us get in the cracks and stuff. And that's what we'll hit the actual Everything diff else. with. Yeah. Um, and we still have some, the suspension and rear end on the back that we're, we'll hit too. But we wanted to take care of the frame. And this still looks incredible. And it's all the way through now. And that'll just keep it nice, you know? You got underneath it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really good, good work, Brandon. Thank you. Just top notch work. Just thank you. I'll set that down. Push my butt and call me full of lemonade. What are you doing? I'm taking this off the brake pedal because I'm just tired of looking at the brake pedal, looking at me. Looking we could have done what Camden was going to do and just cut the side, left side of the brake pedal off to make room for the clutch pedal. No, absolutely not. And hey, remember that hole we were talking about? We're like, hey, what if there should be a hole right there? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe that's it. We'll figure it out. What do you need? <laughs> Jeremy, what are you doing? Doing the twist. You got another twist. You powder coating? Probably. 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 
Yeah, how long you need? Two of those. Six inch. Mini length. Okay. That's not six inches, that's like nine. <laughs> Who does this? What? The f what? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm greasing up this extension. It what are you going up for? Just the pedal assembly. Oh. Mounts to the dash bar. Oh. It doesn't just mount to the firewall. Everything you just brace on the firewall is flexible. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> He's just going to drop the pedal on his face. That's one of the pedals that'll drop on my face. The other one will taste better. I was gonna say, I feel like you're laying in here the most difficult way possible. <laughs> I studied the way to do this, and this was. The, oh, here's the issue: you the don't way, have you don't have this on there. The way everybody told me to do this. This is a skater pose. I saw Bam do this once. Who? Bam. I heard he likes to shake things up a little. Oh, hey, that's a, that's a dangly pedal. You got it? You had a bunch of stuff on you. That's a pedal. Is the oh, dang brake it. switch is still connected. <laughs> the connector. Oh, my. What are you doing? I was using a light. My hands don't work like they should, so I got to use my brains. All right. All right. Show us that fish. Where's that fish you got out of there? I just put it on the I ground. Be there All right. Huh? I think we'll need, huh? we might need that spring. Spring and spring. Yeah. Spring. Maybe even the uh, the switch. Maybe even the, the switch. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Good job, Brandon. Thank you. Stay tuned, guys. Welcome back to U Tunes and Tunes. Welcome back to YouTube. If you're curious what platform you're on, it's YouTube. Oh, hey, I found the other nut in the weirdest place possible. That was the weirdest place I found in that. Nut nut! Hi ho! Gilligan. Yeah, there you go, just in case it dropped. You know there's asbestos in there. Well, I got the other nut. What about the washes? Yeah, well, those are just cock washes. Cock washes. Very own cigarette lighter. I've never had my own. My dad wouldn't let me. I'd start fires if I had. No, I got my own, so. Oh. Good thing the battery wasn't in there. <laughs> yeah, good thing. <laughs> All right, Alec, what are you doing, Alex? Getting the Prindle out? Yeah. All right. All right, here's the booster. Jeremy's going to take some of this rust off and make it real nice and then paint it up for us. Hi. Right? Yep. There you go. So we're, we're mocking up the clutch and brake pedal so we can figure out what hole we need to make for the clutch cable. Up a little higher. Yeah, I know. A little bit to the right, yeah. So apparently when you go auto to manual, you have to uh, add a clutch cable. And there's two little indentations. Do it on the, the other one too and I'll tell you exactly. Where the there. factory uh, clutch cable enough? thingy goes okay. through. Enough so we gotta make a hole. Make a hole, people. It's not a moped. Where's that cable? This one? Yeah, one oh, the clutch cable? You thinking what I'm thinking, Alex? No, I'm not. Me either. Where'd you get this? Some guy in Kentucky. Kentucky. Oh, that guy. Yeah. Some he's guy. listening to everything else now. Oh, right. I gave it thumbs up there. I mean, he's a cool guy. He's a pretty cool guy. Yeah. I wouldn't know. I didn't get a gold Bucky's. No. I got a Bucky's sticker on my tuning laptop now. 
Oh, I should have got a sticker. You know I love stickers. Well, it came on Aubrey's crop top. Uh, I'm going to get a crop top next time I'm in my bucky. She's got one for Jeremy. Crop top for Jeremy. Because he's a drop top guy. <laughs> we'll come back to the clutch cable later. For now, we need to get the engine bay ready for painting and modification with a deeper cleaning from some scrubbing bubbles. We got a multi-dimensional workforce here today. Brandon is the engine in the truck. He's getting masked off. He's gonna paint the uh, steering box there, some black. Jeremy is working, filling some holes down in here. Then he's gonna keep working on the interior some. He's working with very unstable chemicals. And then we're gonna paint the engine bay. You can see we've got all the harness out of the way. We're getting this thing masked up. It, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. It's just the paint is so old, it's like chalky. And if you touch it, it rubs off. So we want to hit it with, we got some paint match, and then we're going to clear coat it, and it should look real nice. Car's going to look real nice. Now we need to test fit the engine to see what modifications need to be made in order to fit the dual overhead cam turbo head in the engine bay. Since this block was a factory option for these trucks already, it bolts right in with the matching engine brackets. So what we found out is, yeah, come in here. Come on in here. What we found out here is the cam angle position sensor is right on the firewall. It is right on it. So we're gonna get the different one. And we also have to peen the firewall to give us a little bit of room. Besides that, everything else fits. Jeremy. Great. Way more work. Yeah. yeah. Way more than anybody else. Sheesh. Sheesh did. All right, test fit again. All right, Brandon's bagging and tagging. This truck looks weird now, dude. All right, that's all dented up. <laughs> Careful. Vacuum sealing it. He is, yeah. We're masking up the truck to get this engine bay painted. And it's going well. Alright. No, you're good. You getting out now? No, I got Oh, you gotta get that side. Not really. I'm not. I don't think any of it needs masks. No? No. Okay. Then it's masked. No more no more bags, please. Alright, Brandon's here, he's in the truck. We're getting ready to paint. What do we have to paint with? It's This is the paint that we have. It's from a local... Charcoal Metallic. Charcoal Metallic. Um, what was it? Sherwin-Williams Automotive Center is what it was. And uh, we're ready to go. Wait a minute. What about those wires? Do we need to wrap them or anything? Yeah, they need foil on them. Butternut squash. We're gonna, we'll get this. We'll right back.
started out tagging billboards and street signs, and now he's restoring trucks with those same hands. We have the base coat done. It looks so good. This is, do you say three coats? I'd say four. Four? Yeah. Four coats of base. And it just looks, it's fabuloso. Phenomenal. But it smells like paint. It's got fruity paint, right? What? Sweet. Yeah, it is a sweet smell. So we're gonna give this a few more minutes and then we're gonna hit it with clear blow coat. It. Don't touch it, blow it. What'd you find? Blow it out. Dog hair. Blow it. I can almost, I can't. It's stuck in the paint, weirdo. There we go. Perfect. Dude. Nice work. Surgery. Where'd the paint go? I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna hit it with it. This is front and center. Nice. Yeah, Lots looks good. Bye, Jeremy. Bye, Jeremy. Hope you find your dad. Same color. Time for the clear coat. it is with the clear coat on it it looks pretty good I mean it looks great we're happy with it it's definitely a much nicer engine bay than when we started and it's a good factory color good stuff that'll do it for this episode we're very happy with how the paint turned out and now that the engine bay is ready, we can start putting everything in it. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. Are we rolling? Rolling. Okay. What are we doing, Brandon? <laughs> okay, hold on a second. Brandon, what are we doing? Come on, dog. Hold on a second. Take, I got a lot going on here. Take 45. Okay. Is that a horse hair? Horse hair right out of the crotch. Right out of the horse's crotch. That's where the strongest horse hairs come from. Made for the best bristles. We're done. All right. Go to bed, everyone. See you later. <laughs>